His ruling party lost almost one third of its seats in Japan's upper house, a humiliating defeat for which Prime Minister Hashimoto took full blame. And that made his resignation a near certainty. The Tokyo stock market digested the election results and nosedived. It quickly began recovering on hopes that a new prime minister might make heavier and faster income tax cuts than the reluctant Hashimoto. Recovery became a market rally when Hashimoto announced that he is quitting. He said the election disaster was due to his failure to keep Japan from sliding into its worst post-war recession. Economic recovery will be his successor's top priority. Foreign Minister Obuchi is a likely candidate, but may be too closely linked to Hashimoto. It was a good day for Hashimoto's Russian counterpart. Sergei Kirienko is the first Russian prime minister to visit Japan, largely because Hashimoto has worked hard to improve Tokyo's rocky relations with Moscow. Japanese and Russian officials signed a contract for an $800 million Japanese loan to help modernize Russia's coal mining industry. Also signed were a memorandum of intent for a treaty to protect Japanese investment in Russia and an accord that extends a treaty for cooperation in space.